You're listening to Daily Manna Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by. It's great to have you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and then turn on that little notification bell if you'd like to get a pop-up on your phone each and every time, a little notification on your phone every time we post a daily devotional video. We do post them every day, so that's kind of your little reminder. If you get busy with life, it gives you a little reminder there on your phone that it's time to spend a little bit of time with God. Uh, So some people like that, some don't. Totally up to you. If you enjoy the video at any point in time, uh, think it's helpful, want to spread that out to more and more people, hit the thumbs up. The YouTube algorithm likes that and it pushes it out to more and more people. The more thumbs up we get, the more comments we get, that kind of stuff. It's the algorithm. It helps it out. So I appreciate that. You can also comment down below. You can shoot me an email at dailymanamedia at gmail.com if you got prayer requests or something more personal that you don't want in the comment section. Just shoot me an email. Uh, it would be great to hear from you, and uh, I'll get right back to you. So if you're going through something difficult in life, maybe you're just lonely and don't have anybody to talk to, uh, hit me up with an email. It comes to my phone. I'll get it. I will reply, and uh, yeah, I'd love to talk to you and hear from you. Um, making godly decisions is today's devotion. We'll get over there in a second. Um, actually, I think I've covered everything. We've covered the thumbs up. We've covered the the email. We've covered the comments. We've got it covered. So it's time to jump over into the devotion. Making godly decisions. Scripture. In all your ways acknowledge God and he will make your paths straight. Proverbs 3 verse 6. Are you facing a difficult, a significant decision? Then look again at these words in Proverbs 3, 6. Implicit in this verse is the truth that God knows what is best for us and that he wants to guide us so we will make right, God-honoring decisions. When you face a decision about your future, seek God's will above all else. Make your decision a matter of prayer and ask him to guide. If we are truly open to his will, he will direct us. I know that personally, uh, he has always guided me. Every time that I've prayed about a huge decision in my life, at some point, maybe not in my time, I will not uh, pretend like it happens in my time. It doesn't happen in my time. But in his time, he always gives me the answer. He steers me. He helps me to know uh, what direction to go. Sometimes I get impatient because I, I feel like, you know, my back's against the wall. I need this decision. I need to know now. Uh, but one way or another, I always seem to make it through to the point where he does give me the answer and I can uh, I can know fully what he wants for my life and what path he wants me to choose. Uh, does this mean we should just wait around until God gives us some kind of miraculous sign or deep inner conviction? Ooh, this is interesting. No, not necessarily. God wants us to be practical. Do research if you need to. Understand yourself and your gifts. Seek the advice of others. Make your decision in the light of God's word also. God never leads us to do anything that is contrary to the Bible. Remember, too, that God often guides us only one step at a time, but that is all we need to know. So don't be anxious. Trust God to guide you, and he will. This devotion comes out of Wisdom for Each Day, a devotion by Billy Graham. I like that. It's a good devotion. I like that a lot, making godly decisions and relying on God and uh, him... uh, giving us signs and helping us to know what decision is the right decision. Uh, I love that stuff. Um, I've always felt like God has had my back in all my major decisions. So a great devotion there. I'll see you tomorrow for another short daily devotion. Thanks for joining me here today and God bless. Enjoy the rest of your day.